hello again, Washington. Mexico's president is back in town. President Andres Manuel López Obrador previously met with President Joe Biden in the White House in late 2021 for a three-way summit with Canada. On Tuesday, the left-wing leader had Biden all to himself in the Oval Office. In spite of our differences and our grievances that are not easy to forget, neither with the time nor with the good intentions, on many occasions we have been able to meet and work together as good friends and true allies. Biden also sought to smooth what many observers saw as a rift between the two after the Mexican leader did not attend a recent U.S.-hosted regional summit because the U.S. did not invite the leaders of Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela, saying that only democracies deserve to be included. This is a relationship that directly impacts the daily lives, the daily lives of our people. And despite the overhyped headlines that we sometimes see, you and I have a strong and productive relationship. The White House told VOA that they're attesting to that strong relationship by doubling the number of temporary visas for Central American migrants. And this is really at the heart of the Biden administration's policy of how we want to address irregular migration. We know that if we want to reduce the number of people that are migrating irregularly, having to rely on these criminal smuggling networks, we have to, we have to expand the number of legal pathways. But Mexico's former ambassador to the U.S. told VOA that when López Obrador ran in 2018 for his one-term six-year presidency, his focus was largely domestic. This is his third true, this is his third trip as president in four years to Washington. But this, along with the trip to the UN, are the only four trips he has done as president abroad during his tenure. I think what is really important about this meeting in Washington today is President Biden's commitment to ensuring that the US-Mexico relationship stays on an even keel, particularly as both countries remember every 12 years, Mexico and the United States have presidential elections the same year. The next U.S.-Mexico election eclipse, that comes in 2024.